Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond Sunday, the first edition, the inaugural Sunday edition of Drew's Daily Diamond NFL going Sunday, September 29th. Got three NFL games coming your way, two one o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific kicks, and then the Sunday night Bills and Ravens games. So smash that like button if you're liking the content. Let me know you're watching out there. The first NFL edition, how your MLP picks are going, your college football, your NFL picks. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. So let's start off. First game up, guys. 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Pittsburgh Steelers, Indianapolis Colts. 40 being the total. We are seeing the Steelers. Minus two-point road favorites. Do you want to start out with something, a little stat here in terms of NFL under, I mean, NFL scoring in general, guys, is at 21 points per side so far this season. And if it continues this way, it will be the fourth consecutive year where we've seen scoring in the NFL come down. And I think it's kind of attributed to red zone touchdown percentage in that quarterbacks aren't as skilled, at least the quarterbacks that we have here playing today's NFL, at throwing the ball in the windows, in, in those tight windows when you get into the red zone, it's kind of condensed and there isn't as much space. And I think we're kind of seeing it play out. And so the red zone touchdown percentage is down this season in the NFL. And it kind of speaks to where the quarterback talent is heading. It's it's more athleticism. It's throwing the ball deep, you know, throwing the ball up in space and less in those condensed zones. So I think it's starting to play out a little bit. We'll see if it kind of changes, but I'm using that methodology in the first two games we're going to talk about and then look to flip it on its head in the third game, in the Sunday night game. So overall, guys, let me know what you think on that. And uh, well, let's get after the games here. Pittsburgh Steelers, Indianapolis Colts on the field handicap, 40 of the total, minus two. That's Pittsburgh as the road favorite. All right, the Steelers, under 30% red zone touchdown percentage. They're one of the teams that are actually struggling to score touchdowns. Now, having said that, they've gotten off to a great start here, a lot of it due to the defense. The defense, five sacks last week alone. They're getting after the quarterback here. And they also offensively have long drives. Justin Fields is playing good quarterback play, and they're kind of going down the field uh, a lot and using up a lot of clock. So I think the Steelers are a great kind of under candidate. And they're up against the Colts here who I've been betting the under uh, with the clients pretty much all season long on this Colts team, looking to fade Anthony Richardson, their quarterback. He's got six interceptions already, 150 pass yards last week against the Bears, and they're pretty much all ground attack. That's where they're, that's where they're kind of excelling in any source. Obviously, he's very athletic. They're getting the, the ground game going a little bit, and that gets the clock ticking a bunch, guys. So... Look, 40 isn't a, a massive total by any means, but I don't think we get into the 40s. I think both defensive units are superior to the offensive side, and I think Richardson struggles. I think they have trouble with big plays against the Steelers defense, and I think Pittsburgh still does the same thing. I think they win the game. I don't love the number laying it on, on the road here, but I, I, I think Pittsburgh has the better quarterback that makes less mistakes, so sidewise. I guess I like I like the Steelers, but even more so, total guys for the video. We are going under forty. Both defenses dominating in Indianapolis. Next one up, one o'clock Eastern, ten a.m. Pacific kick. It is the Denver Broncos, New York Jets. Seven in the hook. That's the Jets as the home favorite. Thirty nine and a half as the total. It was forty. Now it's ticked down to thirty nine and a half. The Jets come in two and one. The Broncos one and two on the season. Both teams one and two to the under. This Denver Broncos defense just held Tampa Bay last week to under 225 yards of offense and just seven points. Their last two games have gone under the total by more than three touchdowns combined. So uh, Broncos are an under team for me. And the Jets defense just let up 11 first downs last week against the Patriots and only three points in that Thursday night game. The offense had over 40 minutes of possession. Aaron Rodgers doesn't necessarily fit the profile of not fitting the ball in those tight windows, but also not turning the ball over from a veteran quarterback and having longer drives for the Jets can help us on this underplay. And that Jets defense, again, 
has been pretty stiff. So 39 and a hook, again, not a massive total, but I don't think we get into the 40s here, guys. Starting off the early slate, two unders. It's the Broncos and the Jets under 39 and a half, and the Steelers and the Colts under 40. We got the Sunday night game coming up next, guys. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com for premium picks. Number one ranked NFL totals handicapper over the last year, over the last four years. So, uh, hey, long-term track record there, guys. You got a 5% max limit going 86% run in the short term. So one on Sunday that we're not talking here. Got that big play going. You can check out 30 days free with the three-month package. That's a special going at wagertalk.com. Again, number one ranked in NFL totals, 5% max limit up and available for Sunday. All right, Sunday night football, we get the Buffalo Bills, Baltimore Ravens, 8.20 Eastern time, 46 and a half being the total. Ravens minus two in the hook at home. I was a little surprised by this by this side number. I, you know, to see the Bills come in 3-0 and o straight up, 2-1 and one ATS, and catching points, it kind of caught my eye a little bit. Now, there is a, a couple things that make me pump the brakes on the side here. When Baltimore, you know, one and two straight up, but they're, they're three and zero to the over. This Ravens team, guys, something to watch here. <clears throat> they've let up twenty five plus points in every game, and they've scored twenty plus points in every game. So it's kind of up and down the field for NFL standards. They had twenty four first downs last time out, and two hundred and seventy four rush yards against the Cowboys. They also let up almost four hundred yards passing to Dak Prescott. So I think Josh Allen's going to get his for the Bills. This is for Buffalo. You know, they're two and one to the over. They scored over 30 points in all three games, 47 points last time out against the Jags. They had 25 first downs in that, and they only punted one time. So this offense is hot right now. Josh Allen threw four touchdowns, zero picks. For their defense, I mean, I almost feel like they, they've kind of had a fortunate schedule defensively. They played Jacksonville, who's having all kinds of problems offensively. And they played the Miami Dolphins, you know, with Tua banged up. That's a different offense right now. So I actually think their defense is is kind of on paper projecting a little bit better than they actually are. And I think the Ravens offensively, Lamar Jackson and the crew can get it going. So 46 and a half is a sizable total. But I think we get into the 50s here, and I know I'm flipping the script in terms of NFL scoring being down. But with these two teams, I think there's a lot to like towards this over. So uh, 46 and a hook, hey, we get 47 or more in the Bills and Ravens Sunday night football. So that's three games coming your way for Sunday NFL. One that we didn't talk about, 5% max limit up and available at wagertalk.com. Guys, I'm Drew Martin. This is the first Sunday NFL Recording here for Drew's Daily Diamond. We'll be back on Monday talking some uh, all things sports betting. You know, Monday night football. We got MLB as well. So come back and join us. Comment below. Smash that like button. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for tuning in.